everyone? My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel, Oath Player. I have an awesome video, you guys, for today, and actually highly requested on how to display loose Game Boy games professionally, cleanly, and uh, definitely keep them protected. Um, even if you don't have these plastic cases for them, I mean, if you're lucky enough to even have these, these things display so ugly and atrocious. I mean, it's so stupid. It just looks like a giant block of plastic whenever you have a bunch of these, like, side by side. Uh, so here I obviously have Pokemon Crystal, and uh, what I'm going to be showing you here today is, um, even if you don't want to display them in the box, because, I mean, I don't, because... Whenever you have, like, let me move some of these games out of the way. Let's say you have something such as Mega Man 4 CIB, and the problem with this is this game's worth around $500, and it's really uh, hard on these boxes whenever, like, say you want to take the game out and play it. Um, it's a lot of wear on the back of these, like, the back spine of the game here, or uh, the box, rather, because it actually, whenever you open this up, it, like, flexes the cardboard and uh, the paint or whatever coloring they use to color these boxes uh, begins to chip off, devalues it, and uh, makes whatever you're trying to protect in your collection um, not as worthwhile and uh, definitely less valuable. My secret to displaying these games is actually old cassette tapes. I'm sure you guys can remember these from the 80s and 90s. These were a big deal. Um, these are like the old like uh, cassette tape protectors, rather. And uh, what I have in here is like some custom art that I have. I'll give some links to places. All you literally have to do with these things, I'll give you links to like the places you can find these arts. The specs are all uh, already correct on a lot of these links. Copy and paste them to Microsoft Word, print them out on a color printer, and uh, you're good to go. You cut them out, and it's um, it's that simple. So let me disassemble this really quick. All right, there you go. This is literally the only pieces you need uh, for this. So what I'm going to be, like, mostly going over is basically the assembly and uh, just displaying factors for this. And um, obviously, I'll give you some of the websites. But for the most part, the hardest thing that you're going to, like, actually have to track down in this... Um, it's gonna be, I mean, aside from the games, like, to put in them, but, uh, is actually the cassette tapes themselves, like, these old protectors, because these are actually becoming, um, few and far between, just because I know Salvation Army and Goodwill used to be, like, the, these are the only places I would get these from. Uh, I've actually stopped in my area selling these, because, I mean, who even wants these things anymore, aside from people who are using them for, like, other purposes? I mean, I don't know anyone who listens to, like, actual, like, cassette tapes and mixtapes. So if you're lucky enough to get your hand on one of these, um, really the only, like, actual modifications you have to do is if these tabs are still in there, uh, you just have to pop them out, you can see they came out really easily, um, and then, like, maybe file them down with, um, some really fine grit sandpaper, and sometimes you have to also bust out these tabs, not a big deal, just grab a pair of pliers or dykes and, uh, you're good to go. Also, with these things, um, you can usually fit one to two on, uh, an actual piece of paper, so, um, try not be too wasteful, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a piece of paper to begin with. Um, and you just cut these out, you, they have like little black lines on them that you can follow, and uh, they fit in these actually really nicely and super easily. Uh, so you just fold them over, you don't want to be like too crazy. I mean, look at these, like the detail on some of these. I mean, whoever made these or photoshopped these, is, I mean, it's just so awesome. You have a uh, Cubone on the back there, so super cool, obviously awesome Pokemon Yellow game. And uh, these fit in really nicely. Now what I do, this isn't a requirement, uh, but I typically do this just to make a display like even, like, I guess more professional looking, is you got a piece of styrofoam, my girlfriend, uh, Obviously, whenever she got me my birthday presents, uh, some of the packages um, she had them in came with a bunch of styrofoam, so I cut them to fit, and uh, just keeps them a lot more, like, snug, and they fit in, like, their little display cases way more nicely. I mean, you could just display it like this, for God's sakes. But the reason I do that is because you can see here for my Game Boy Advance game, uh, we have Spyro here, and, like, the paper doesn't, like, sit, like, isn't seated, like, the whole way on the top of this, um, or flush against the cover of this, so it doesn't look, like, that professional. Uh, so what I do is I just do that to make it, um, more of a tight fit. You can see here I did for, um, I believe Pokemon emerald i did it for no where did i do it i think i have my pokemon games mixed up here because i did it with uh, leaf green and not emerald i should have done it the other way around and what i did here with this one is um i basically cut out a huge piece i'm not gonna take it out because it's like a real bummer but i basically cut it in like a u-shape here like the styrofoam to go around and this fits in like super snug the cover like looks like it's adhered to the top um and it just looks super awesome so as you can see this works with uh game boy games even the newer model ones um that came out Obviously, it works with pretty much any Game Boy game you can imagine. Here we have Donkey Kong Land. Um, my Final Fantasy one looks super awesome, so that's great. Um, some of these cases are a little bit better conditioned than others. Uh, we have Castlevania Adventure here, and whenever these display, they look so much better. I mean, obviously not as good as the box's counterpart here, because as you can see, we have some Game Boy Color and uh, some regular Game Boy boxes. And uh, whenever these are displayed side by side, obviously looks better than um, the cassette tapes. But, I mean, anything, anything is better than this. This is block of plastic. So, here, obviously, it works with the Game Boy games. We also have some Game Boy Advance games here that it works with. Game Boy Color. I haven't tried it with anything else. I don't really know who would want to do with the DS uh, games, rather. 
But if you guys aren't really interested in tracking down and doing all this work for uh, these little like plastic carts, I also have another method here. That is by far my favorite because whenever you have these all displayed side by side, especially all the Pokemon games just lined up in a row, um, it looks awesome. Like here we have Zelda, um, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons. I mean, those look great together. But anyway, the other solution I have is actually taking DS... Uh, these cases here, you can find a lot of these, they're actually pretty cheap. Now I have a ton of them for that are just totally empty. Um, and this one, of course the one I pick doesn't have it. But um, usually, here, let me go grab another one. But usually they have like a little Game Boy Advance thing here. Such as this one. I mean, 90% of the cases I have have these slot, these little slots. Of course I picked the, the one I don't. Uh, but Game Boy Advance games, here, wait, let me get one out really quick. These actually fit perfectly in here. Now you can't have these little like plastic cases around them. Uh, but whenever you take these out, it's the same method that you would do with um, the little cassette tapes. These are just on a little bit bigger scale, and uh, they fit a little bit like more snug than they would in um, just the cassette tapes. And we do the same thing as like what you would do for the other method is you like print out your own custom art. Um, I don't really have links to that. I know that they're probably maybe a little bit easier to find um, and a lot more room for detail. But I just I don't know why. I feel like the cassette tapes just look better. It looks like something that like Nintendo would actually. I feel like they would release something like this for like their Game Boy games um, in a low plastic case rather than like these like the DS ones uh, but it's definitely more secure um, the only weird thing is, is you have like this little weird you're gonna have an empty slot in here for your DS game um, and I, the manual that's another plus side for the DS case the manual can actually fit in this um, unlike these the manual sadly is not fit in these so you're gonna have to get something else uh, but anyway guys that's it um, pretty simple video um, if you want a more in-depth look I would suggest going to other YouTube channels they have like the whole step-by-step -step where you can actually they teach you how to Photoshop your own manuals uh, but I pretty much piggyback off of everyone else. I, I kind of use art that's already been made. Um, it's free. There's no, like, all you have to do is download it. It's super simple, super easy. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, take care.